Hey everybody, Nicholas from Growth Marketer here, and I wanna give you a very quick walkthrough of the Unbounce Page Builder. So let's say that you just decided to build a landing page and you launched the builder. This is what you're gonna see, and it can be quite intimidating if this is the first time you've seen the Unbounce Builder, but let me show you what the different components do. So you have some different areas in the builder. First, you have what's called the widgets panel here on the side, and these are your widgets or your elements of the page. And if you just hover, you'll see all the different widgets that you have access to. Sections, which are the actual sections of the page. So a page has to be built with sections in the background. That's sort of the fundamental uh, framework of a landing page. Then you have boxes, which are just like they sound, just a box shape. Then you have text widgets, image widgets, buttons, Lightbox buttons, which are buttons where you click and then it sort of opens up this pop-up. And then you have forms and you can embed video and then you can add custom code if you want to. Then in the middle area, this is called the canvas and this is where you actually do all the dragging and dropping and editing. So this is really important uh, for you to be able to see what you're building and you don't have to look at the code. Then here at the top, this is called the toolbar and these are some of the higher level functions of the page. So for instance, you can uh, click on an element and you can delete it, you can duplicate it, copy, paste, you can change the positioning, uh, you can undo, redo, you can move a section up or down, so it's some of those uh, more high level functions. Then here on the right, this is a really important part, I would say probably the most important part of the builder, this is called the properties pane. And what's cool about it is whatever you click on, whatever element you click on, the properties pane is gonna be different for that type of element. So if I click on a text element, I'm gonna see things that are specific to working with text or fonts. So for instance, if I wanna change the color of this, I could simply click on it, and here in the properties pane, I could then change the color, and boom, the text has changed. If I click on a form, I can then set up the form confirmation URL. Maybe I want it to go to a specific thank you page, or I wanna change some other settings on the form. Uh, and then you have page properties, which are things that are not specific to any one element, but they're just uh, related to the entire page. So things like the title of the page, the description, things that go into like the meta description of the page, and then the page width as well. Then down at the bottom, last but not least, you have some advanced functions. Uh, contents, I personally don't really ever keep this open. Um, it, I think it just takes up space and there's not that much use for it. JavaScripts is where you would add custom code. Style sheets is where you would add custom CSS. All of this is optional, of course. And then you have desktop and mobile. So after you build your page on desktop, you can click over to mobile and you can mobile optimize it. You can even change things specifically for mobile. If you wanted to have a different image just on mobile, for instance, you can do that in Unbounce. And make sure this little toggle is on so that your mobile page is live when it's been optimized. Then when you're done, you just hit save and then you can publish the page and you're ready to go. So I hope this has been a very helpful, quick walkthrough of the Unbounce Builder. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments. And if you wanna see more content related to Unbounce and growth marketing in general, hit that subscribe button because I have a lot more in store for this channel. Thank you and have a great day.